Hey guys, welcome back. Bits be tripping. This is your host Carter. Let's get right into this. This is an older legacy video. I've get a lot of questions. People know that we've been mining for a long time and we have quite a bit of content when it comes to some of the older builds. If this was a six, yes, we used to do a six. This is Litecoin mining. We're talking Litecoin mining with an ASIC Excalibur in this video. I wanted to show you guys kind of a back in history. If you look at like the latest video that we had with Voscoins miner mining the script on Litecoin and Dogecoin merge mining, that was right around 200 mega hash. This particular unit was 257 mega hash. The Voscoin miner was running around 200 watts and in here we're setting at close to 1400 watts with three separate power supplies so a lot's changed in the space this particular unit though would put out close to five and a half litecoin per day so you know litecoin's holding around 200 dollars uh you know coin so you're looking right around a thousand dollars a day if you would have held the litecoin that this machine was putting out and if we pivot here over to the Spondulli Tech SP31 Yukon, this was one of the very first kind of industrial looking in a, you know, 2U rack mount ASIC that came from Spondulli Tech. This was an Israeli company, it did not stick around very long, but they did make a very high quality product. These things were about five and a half terahash. If you were lucky enough to get your hands on one of these things back in October, November of 2014, this thing was putting out about, as you'll see it here on the screen, 0 0.5 Bitcoin per day. That is one full Bitcoin in 20 days for the folks counting there. It's six, if you were to hold on to that Bitcoin, that was around $62,000 of Bitcoin per 20 days which you know at the time you're looking around that time was around three to five hundred dollars bitcoin price was fluctuating between and this unit here would be around five hundred dollars you know total per month with about two hundred dollars in power cost so you're making about three hundred dollars in bitcoin at the time so you guys get some kind of idea here and mind you these machines were close to ten to twelve thousand dollars at the time too uh you could find some of them for around sixty five hundred dollars in the second hand market when bitcoin crashed back down to around 150 bucks but, you know, give you guys some insight to some of this legacy equipment. I get a lot of questions with that. We'll have a few more things up, you know, coming up when we're looking at some of the older script miners, if we're talking like, uh, you know, Litecoin mining, Dogecoin mining at the time, and kind of what the outputs. If you guys are interested in this kind of content, we're gonna start trying to put these out actually on Thursdays, each Thursday with a throwback Thursday. And yeah, we wanna see what you guys uh, think about this. So. Please like, subscribe, share. This is just a real quick one for you guys to give you guys some history and we'll get back into it. Peace. Decentralization is one of the most important factors in a global cryptocurrency network. Bitcoin's proof of work functions due to the exceptional security provided by the miners of the network. Today's sponsor is Compass Mining, a company with a customer focused experience providing a tailored approach to purchasing, hosting, or even an at-home option, allowing anyone the opportunity to participate. If this interests you, head over to compassmining.io.